throw. You try stopping these kids when they have their minds set on something. Speaking of which, we have some important information for you that's confidential. Never pegged you for the manipulative type, but I've learned a lot of things tonight. I enjoyed working with you, you know? Even with that endless cynicism of yours. I'm usually proven right. We don't have to fight, friend. <laughs> you don't know my friends. That's how it always goes. Oh, oh I'm sorry. See, I mistook this for some sort of sentient garbage. I don't have time for your immature games, Crow. We know. Oh. Oh, you know. Well, thank goodness I'm out there risking my life to keep you all informed. Crow. Communication's a two-way street, pal. You see this? That's the send button. They had reason to assume you'd been compromised. And I have reason to assume you don't need to be here. Seriously, who invited her? And she smiles. Did I win? Hey, it's your game. I don't make the rules. I'm sorry for what happened. It wasn't your fault. It was, though. I made a deal with the darkness, and he paid the price. It's all happening so fast. But Clover wouldn't let up. Could have worked together against Tyrion if Clover just... But the thing that really stings... For the first time in a while, I thought... Maybe... Maybe I could be around somebody... Anybody... Without my semblance making it... Complicated. You know that crows are a sign of bad luck. Old superstition. But it's how I got my name. You see, some people can absorb electricity, and some people can burst into rose petals. And some people are just born unlucky. My semblance isn't like most. It's not exactly something I do. It's always there. Whether I like it or not, I bring misfortune. <laughs> I guess you could call me a bad luck charm. Comes in real handy when I'm fighting an enemy. But it makes it a little hard on friends and family. Burn. Like I said, we've got a problem. Now. Wait, good, you're all here. We represent the coolest and most highly revered individuals on this campus. Winter, your sister would jump off a bridge if you told her to. I have, and she did. Ren, your cooking is top notch and your teammate is madly in love with you. Oh uh, no, here's just a friend. Cinder, you're able to command those two partners of yours like they're your henchmen. Why, what an absurd notion. Henchmen would be more competent. There is another. A student so relentlessly cool, we may lose everything. Please, a student? Not just a student, an upperclassman. Ta-da! <laughs> Wait! <laughs> Release that book at once! You probably don't even read. Don't worry, you can borrow it afterward. I'll underline all the good parts. Yeah, it's a shame you didn't get here a little... sooner. <laughs> you got pretty wild there towards the end. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you want some? Whatever. Crow! Okay, fine. Go team. Can I leave now? I want you both to shake hands and apologize. I will if she will. <laughs> Too slow, Ice Queen. <laughs> that does it! You're dead meat! <laughs> no. It's the Ginyu Force Red Magma! Ha!